Eldon Buck Newton walked out of the Wilson County Courthouse alone Thursday afternoon. He filed a lawsuit against his opponent for the North Carolina Senate, five-term incumbent A.B. Swindell, and the state Democratic Party. It was a contrast from a couple hours earlier when a cheering crowd supported Newton as he refuted what he calls a libelous direct mail pamphlet. The Democratic Party paid for it and Swindell endorsed it. The pamphlet says Newton was arrested on eight felony counts, including selling cocaine. Except Newton says he was never arrested and the 1990 incident in Watauga County was a case of mistaken identity. I have never, ever been arrested on a drug charge. I was not arrested in this affair or any other drug affair. I was not there. I never went to court. I never saw a police officer. I never got fingerprinted. I never got photographed. The North Carolina Democratic Party supplied Carolina Journal with court records and a timeline of events. The party questioned the timing of some events, specifically why the Watauga County District Attorney waited nine years to amend the dismissal. Yeah, Newton says he notified the DA of the clerical error because the North Carolina State Bar questioned the records when Newton applied for the bar. North Carolina Republican Party Chairman Tom Fetzer calls the pamphlet dirty politics. He will look back at this mailing as the turning point in his campaign when the people of Wilson and Nash counties decided he was no longer worthy of their trust. The lawsuit Newton filed goes a step further and accuses Swindell and the Democratic Party of libel. In it, Newton says they knowingly published lies about him. He also claims in the suit to have tried to meet Swindell and clarify his past, but Swindell refused. Swindell has not responded to repeated attempts by the Carolina Journal for comment on the pamphlet. The North Carolina Democratic Party told the Raleigh News and Observer that it stands behind the pamphlet. However, party officials have not spoken with Carolina Journal. In the end, Newton says the pamphlet is a sign of desperation by his opponent. Alvin B. Swindell is jealous. He is jealous that I'm beating him, and he will stoop at nothing to try to win this race. A September 2nd poll by the John W. Pope Civitas Institute says Newton leads Swindell by six points. One woman at the rally claiming to be a Democrat says Newton is getting as much Democratic support as Republican. In the most recent campaign finance reports, Swindell had more than 10 times the campaign yeah, I mean, cash of Newton. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.